the next uh, uh, speaker, uh, Mr. Channing Wang. He is a senior um, customer manager of shipping finance department of uh, the Bank of Communications. He's right here. He came all the way from Shanghai, and he will um, take us again through uh, the leasing uh, options and strategies. And then we'll have the panel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for Thank being you. with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kalimela. Uh, I'm Chen Wang, come from Balcom Lizzy. I'm the uh, regional customer manager of the uh, Greek market. Uh, actually, I uh, worked in Greece uh, four years, so this time I'm very glad to come back to Greece, uh, see my old friends very well, and uh, would like to make some new friends. Uh, this time I come back with a new job. Uh, I joined Balkan Leasing, and uh, uh, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to give a presentation today to uh, give you some brief introduction about the Chinese leasing companies, the leading Chinese leasing companies, and also the shipping finance in, the, uh, uh, in China. Um, firstly, I want to give some brief introduction about the leading Chinese leasing companies. Uh, as well known that uh, the Chinese leasing companies don't have a very long history compared to the traditional European and US banks in the shipping. Actually, just in 2007, um, the first five financial leasing companies were established in China. Uh, they are our own company, Bank of Communication Financial Leasing, and also CMB Leasing, CCB Leasing, ICBC Leasing, and Mission Leasing. All of these five uh, companies have a top bank background in China. Uh, actually, after 11 years development, uh, this figure of the financial leasing companies come to close to 70. It's uh, 69 now. Um, actually, in these uh, 69 uh, companies, I do believe just less than 20 uh, companies involved in the shipping, uh, and less than the 20 uh, involved in the global shipping. Uh, after more than 10 years development, eight of the financial leasing companies' assets come over to 100 billion Chinese yuan. So this is a big development. Uh, so the Chinese leasing companies uh, have a su uh, sustainable growth in the past uh, decade. Um, let, uh, let me take the, uh, our welcome leasing as an uh, example. Uh, our total assets uh, developed from 2,000 million in 2007 when we set up, uh, going to uh, 231 billion Chinese yuan uh, in last year. And the leased assets also uh, grows very quick from 126 million in 2007 come to 220 billion Chinese yuan in last year. <clears throat> um, actually, our bulk leasing is also in the top ranks by some major indicators. Uh, you can show that the total assets, the leased assets, operating assets, all the uh, three indicators rank number two in China, all the Chinese leasing companies. Uh, we, are, we, are we are proud to see that the non-performing assets of our bulk leasing is just 0.66%. Uh, this is the best in China. So that means so far we have the well-selected clients in our shipping business and also other business in bulk leasing. Um, you know, the Chinese leasing company uh, could uh, uh, grow so quick because we uh, devoted ourselves in some uh, specialized uh, industries, some in capital intensive industries, such like the aviation, shipping, automobile, infrastructures, and medical, and also medical and manufacturing equipment. Um, you know, the shipping in China developed very quick in the past 10 years, but compared to shipping, other business have a bigger boom in China. So uh, all of the leasing company developed very quick. Uh, such like our welcome leasing, we have five key business segments, the shipping, aviation, public infrastructures, energy equipment, and also the machinery equipment. Uh, actually, in these five key business segments, we only have the shipping and aviation involved in the international business. Uh, actually, the, the majority of our shipping and aviation business I come from the uh, global market, international market, uh, with the US dollar transaction and the euro currency uh, uh, transactions. 
Uh, okay, so the second part, let's go to the, uh, the core topic today for the shipping leasing uh, development in China. Uh, now I will show you two uh, charters, um, but uh, I want to clarify that these charters are not uh, official. This is not official. This comes from the advisor uh, S. Marin. So we have some peers from China sit there. So if you have some problem, you can come to S. Marin, uh, not come to me. <laughs> So now we can, uh, we can see that um, actually this is the, uh, the, the drawdown from, uh, for the last three years. Uh, you can get that in 2016 and 17, our Bocom leasing have the biggest uh, drawdown on the market. It's, very uh, it's 3 billion in 2007 and uh, uh, 17 and uh, 2.9 billion uh, US dollars in 2016. Um, but in last year, ICBC uh, speed up their drawdown. It, uh, they have 3.2 billion US dollar drawdown. Uh, in the following place, we can see that SMB leasing, Minsheng leasing, CDB leasing, EVIC leasing, and also CCB leasing. Uh, all of the uh, several companies have, one, uh, have more than 1 billion US dollar drawdown in last year. Uh, next chapter, this is the uh, total portfolio, the assets value of the top uh, the leading Chinese leasing companies. Um, for the first two places, we can see that there are no change. There are CBC leasing and also our Bocom leasing. Um, but if we come to the uh, middle range, uh, we could find some name were changed. The Costco leasing and the CSSC leasing are there. They have a very significant portfolio. It, uh, such like Costco have 5.2 billion US dollars and CSSC leasing has 3.2. Um, but maybe you know that these two leasing companies, they give very, they give very strong support to their own core business. Such like a Costco leasing, they uh, support their own fleet a lot. And CSSC leasing give a very strong support to their uh, the new building orders in their own uh, CPR. That means maybe not a lot of refinance. Uh, and we also could find that some leasing companies shrinked their portfolio in last year, such like a mention leasing. Uh, maybe uh, some change of their strategy there. So if we go to the, if you, you know, uh, you are familiar with the uh, Chinese leasing companies, uh, maybe you know that. So far the uh, total assets, the total fleet, the total transaction of the Chinese leasing companies uh, I come from the uh, qualified shipping assets and also have some uh, diversified uh, transactions. Uh, let me give the uh, example of our Bocom leasing again because I just can release the official figure from ourselves. Um, if we divide by the uh, geography, there are only 5% uh, transactions are domestic business and 95% uh, are the international uh, business. And uh, by the structure, the portfolio, uh, we provide uh, <coughs> uh, close 70% uh, operating lease. Because we are leasing company, we are not the traditional banks. So I think our advantage is that to provide the more flexible structure to the market. So I, uh, we do believe that operating a lease could uh, give the client more flexible options. Um, the portfolio by the uh, vessel type, you could find that um, almost half of our fleet are container ships. Actually, our Bocom leasing is start our, our uh, business from the uh, container business with some top names. And the second place is the tankers. It's about 27%. Actually, most of the tanks are uh, product tankers. Uh, very few crude tanks so far. And uh, the bulkers is the third place. Uh, it's about uh, 14%. And the guest carriers occupied about 8%. And the rural and passenger vessels, about 2%. The rest of 3% are some special vessels, such like some engineering vessels. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the wrong button. Uh, next part, I want to talk about some uh, personal lies, uh, uh, some personal understanding about the Chinese leasing. Uh, I think maybe in the following two or three years, we have some small challenges. Um, actually, so far, 
uh, we have different channels to access with our clients and uh, to sit together with our clients. Maybe some top tier SIP owners, they come to our uh, Chinese leasing com companies directly, but some smaller and medium sized uh, uh, clients, maybe they come to us through brokers, some cooperative, uh, cooperative banks, and even some uh, classifications, uh, society and CPRs. They make us to sit down together uh, to discuss the transactions. Um, um, Fortunately, so far, there, uh, I think not only local leasing and even other uh, Chinese leasing companies, the clients group, most of the clients uh, come from the top tiers. Such like our Balkan leasing, so far we have uh, uh, more than 40 uh, clients. Uh, the, I, I, I do believe they all their top names on the market. Um, you know, but if we want to keep the development trend in the following years, I think we need to extend our uh, clients group to some medium-sized companies and even to some smaller SIP owners. So considering about the, uh, uh, the team of Chinese leasing companies not so big, uh, like our Balkan leasing, we just have 20 persons in the team. I, I think our, our peers in China also don't have a, a very huge uh, team. Uh, I think that would be a challenge for us because we need to pay uh, more attention, more time on some smaller scale uh, business. Fortunately, we, we are growing up now with the market together. Uh, we become more efficient and more professional. Um, and uh, another thing we are doing now, uh, we come out of China to stay uh, in, on the market. We set up our office in Hamburg uh, this office just focuses on the uh, shipping business in European and uh, maybe U.S. market. So we, will, we would like to get closer to our clients. That will make us to uh, understand each other much easier, to be more familiar with each other. So uh, in the future, we will set up our global operating entities. Uh, like me, I will come back to Greece for the Greek market. Uh, the last part, I want to talk about uh, the role of Chinese financial leasing in shipping. Actually, this is a, a normal uh, question we uh, met in, on the market. They always ask us, what's the role of the Chinese leasing companies? Will, be, will you be the ship owner finally? Um, actually, I don't disagree about that. I think because of the, in the past several years, the Chinese leasing companies grew up very quick. So we come to the stage and expose in the spotlight. We attracted a lot of uh, attention. I think every deal will raise a big voice. So uh, maybe some people think the Chinese leasing companies stimulate the oversupply of vessels. Actually, if you check the details of the Chinese leasing companies' transactions, there are only maybe um, a few is there a few transactions is behind the uh, spec speculator uh, orders. Actually, more than 50% of the transactions is sales and lease back. So we have the same common ground with the whole industries. We should come together to keep the uh, market healthy. And the leasing companies is not the ship owner. For all of the more than 1,600 vessels financed by Chinese leasing companies, there are only approximately 30 vessels ordered without uh, charters. So the speculator orders uh, will not be, never and ever, be the welcome, popular client for us. So our target, our aim is to that provide more finance solutions uh, for the market, especially when some traditional banks shrink their portfolio on the market. We want to provide more options, a more flexible solution, efficient service, and also competitive terms. So, okay, uh, finally, I want in the future, we can set a seal with the clients, with the owners from Greece, from all of the world, and share the prosperities together. So, I've had a story.